Hello, everybody. Happy Monday and happy Labor Day to those of us in the United States. Um, I hope you have had a three day weekend, right? And enjoying it. And even though it's called Labor Day, I hope that um, you didn't do anything that was pretty labor intensive. So how has your weekend been, right? Did you make some time to do some crafting? Well, the big thing that we did here in my household is we actually bought a mattress. Um, did you know that Labor Day, on Labor Day, mattresses go on sale? But anyway, so it was a great excuse to finally replace the mattress that we've had for many, many years. So anyway, um, anyway, yes, I'm so glad you're joining me, whether you're watching this live with me right now or whether you're watching on the replay. Thank you, I appreciate your support, but be sure to comment below and let me know um, what have you been doing this weekend? Um, have you started on your holiday projects yet? Speaking of holiday projects, this catalog is technically called the September, December catalog, but as you all know, I like to call this the holiday catalog because it's basically full of holiday ideas, but um, yeah, this will be live in a few days. I think two days, September 4th. So if you have not received yours um, and would like one, um, let me know and I will get a copy to you. And another exciting thing that's launching is our new scrapbook line, okay? As some of you may have known, um, Close to My Heart went out of business, and so Stamping Up took over some of its uh, product line, and this is the first of many products that we will be carrying in the scrapbooking um, line. And if you're interested in this, let me know. This is a digital, um, digital um, pamphlet, digital catalog, so I can easily um, send you the link to this. So if you're interested in scrapbooking, be sure to um, let me know and I will send it out to you. Um, anyway, so today I actually had something else planned, but, um, but you know, as you, for people who live on Guam, you'll know that the mail system is just really unpredictable. Things that should normally arrive don't arrive and you're just watching the tracking like, where is it going? So good thing I have something else planned, so I just kind of switched it around and uh, hope you like what I'm sharing with you today. All right, so without further ado, let me switch the camera around and let's get crafting. Let's see. Oops, there we go. Okay, so that's that. Let me bring this down a little bit. There we go. So I do have a class this Sunday and it is a slice of pumpkin. During the slice of pumpkin um, workshop, what we do is um, I have uh, made up little kits of past paper pumpkin projects. So it's a way for you to taste um, what paper pumpkin is all about. And hopefully that you um, have such a great experience with it that you will consider um, subscribing to it. So I'm gonna be featuring last month's cards um, but I will have cards from other months for you to choose from if you like. But at any rate, these are the three cards that I'm going to be um, having available most of the time. And then, um, not most of the time, what am I talking about? I will have the most of. And then as a bonus project, um, this is the card that you'll be making. So you're actually making four cards this Sunday. Um, this particular card um, is made out of the envelopes that come with the kit. So yeah, it's a great way to utilize every single bit of your paper pumpkin and so no, there'll be no waste, okay? These are, they look complicated, but believe me, they are so simple to make and that's why you need to come to the class so you can appreciate how simple these things are and you'll be regretting you didn't start it sooner. Okay, so one of the th new products that is in this new catalog that's being launched is what we have, we call the book treat boxes. I know, oh hi Ross, how are you? I hope you got today off. Anyway, so one of the products that will be in the new catalog is called 
the book treat box. And I am just absolutely enamored with this. And I have been making so many different variations of it. I just love it. And I'm hoping that you will love it too. And I will show you how easy it is, okay? So basically, this there's only two pieces to it. It comes with its own adhesive, so you don't really need anything. So let's get started. So what you need is, um, let's see, let me grab these here. You'll need two pieces that are three by four and one that is one inch by four, okay? So let's put this together. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to make sure that the top is all nice and st stuck, okay? So for this particular um, paper, I used my corner rounder to mimic the, the rounded edge of this box. Now, if you don't have a corner rounder, no worries. I will show you how simple it is to um, round it, okay? So let me go ahead and mount this on here. Okay, there it is, right? Easy peasy. And here's the other piece to it. You know, you can either put your adhesive on the box itself or you could put it on the paper. Okay. Now definitely watch the orientation of your pattern because as you have seen in my other video, I've shown how I made a mistake and it turned out to be the opposite one. So using um, patterns that are non uh, multi-directional works really well. So I'm gonna show you, so this one, this last piece, I did not corner around it. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do that. So let me go ahead and glue on here. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, see, it's just a little bit. So, let me just use my snips and just go around it. So even if you don't have a corner rounder, you are okay. See? Not too bad, right? Okay. So that's part of the box, okay? So now let's work on the inside of the box. Again, as I said, there's adhesive already on each in this box. So you don't really need any other supplies. So... I've got my camera between me, my eyes, and the box, so it's kind of interesting. Okay, there we go. So there's your box, okay? So then you just adhere onto it. A little tip that I can share with you is start like here, okay? Position it how you want it um, on this side of the box, okay? So let me, wait, let me take this out first. Okay, so I am going to position the box on the cover first. I'll make sure it's centered. Okay, and then you bring it over and glue it. That way, it's always nicely positioned. Don't ask me how I know that would work because I, of course, made some mistakes. But anyway, I make the mistakes so you don't make the mistakes, right? That's how it goes. 
So you can embellish this further, and that's what I'm gonna do, is I went ahead and cut a slice here. This one is about two and a half, plus a little bit more by three and a half. So I'm going to put this in here. Okay, and I think on the other side, to give it a little sentiment, so it's sort of like a card and a gift combo. So this can easily be your Thanksgiving table setting, don't you think? Just put a initial or a name on it, the top, All right? And then I have some fall themed candy. This is the Werther's pumpkin spice, right? So you just put them in here and close it up. Now there is adhesive here and um, I don't wanna put, put it on yet. I also have this. Now this is uh, from a new die set from the new catalog and it's called Peaceful Season Dies. I tell you, this is a die that you don't need to get the accompanying stamp set. I mean, I do a lot of that kind of stuff. Is I just love the dies. I mean, look at this. Just for this, I'm. it's worth getting this whole die set. This Christmas, I'm sure you can always use it, but even not, all these labels are very, very useful. Okay, they're nice. So that's where I got that little label from. And um, let's see. And the sentiment for you is from Friends for Life. And I just basically blocked this out and just used this. Okay. So I'm going to... Um, you see, that was a mistake, right? So I reused it. So let me see, I wanna make sure, there we go, for you. Okay, there we go. Okay, now what I wanted to show share with you is, now there is an adhesive on here, so when you're ready to present it to somebody, just peel this off and glue it and it's nice and uh, secure. But if you want this to be reusable, um, I would recommend probably, um, Oops, sorry about that. Um, using some ribbon, okay? So let me go ahead and show you how that would look like. Um, okay. okay, this is kind of a thick ribbon, but um, let's see. And because it's so thick, I'm probably not going to do a little, I'm just gonna do a knot. So there. So that's one way to secure um, this box if you wanted it to be reusable. Okay, so that's one way of working on it, working on this thing. Another way that I actually really like, and I think some of you have already seen, is um, putting like a book bind um, onto it so it really looks like a book. Now for this particular box, um, you would still need the two um, three by four. And in addition, you will need a another three by four. Okay. And then score at one inch so you can wrap it around it, right? And I emboss this to kind of give it that, you know, to give it that extra texture. Now, the way I... Um, um, close this, I actually put in Velcro dots. See? What do you think of this? And the reason I put a button here, now lest you think I just grabbed any old button, did you know that Stamping Up used to have buttons? Oh my goodness, I still have so many of this. Who has these buttons still? Put it in your comments below and let's see um, how, so, how old we all are 
in this whole stamping up journey. So the reason I put this button here when I did the Velcro is if you, because the Velcro, when you um, can't see, oh, there we go. See how it warps? So if this bothers you, that's why I did the button. But if this doesn't bother you, then you don't need a button. So, yeah. So this way, there you go. Cool, right? So you can put your ha homemade brownies in there. I'm, I haven't baked for a while, so that's just a store-bought brownie. So cool, right? All right. And the last but not least project I want to share with you is I don't know if you would have thought of this. What do you think I have in there? So for this one, I went ahead and just tied a ribbon. Um, okay. So see, this is ribbon. Da da da. This is a mini album. So let me show you. So I put a little thumb thing here. This is the 2023 Christmas Memories. Now to make this, I actually used new products from the holiday catalog. I used um, my favorite, the mix and match um, product line, the tags for the season, um, joyful images. So this is all in the new catalog. And especially this one, this is called a little bit of festive. So this little mini album, the components came from those products, okay? So Christmas memories of 2023. Our family went to Tokyo for Christmas. Christmas dinner at Miyashin. Our favorite is sushi at Midori. Katsukami. This is lunch at uh, kun, Kunimi. And all you can eat crab. And shabu shabu meal at the end. Okay? Cool, right? It's really a fun little mini album. And I thought it was appropriate since um, we're launching a scrapbooking line. I actually really like doing mini albums. I'm more of a mini album uh, event specific uh, scrapbooker than say one that you know you do the 12 by 12 um, pages. So this is my jam. You know little mini boxes, little mini albums because these albums you can um, put them in a basket, leave them out for people to enjoy. So I would imagine you can also do the back but I didn't because I think it might be too bulky. Um, but all the items that you see here are all from our new product, um, the mix and match, and also the little, um, mm, what do you call these things? Let me look at it again. A little bit festive, specialty designer series paper. So that's where it's from. So, yeah. What do you think? This is something that you might want to do. Actually, when you make a purchase of $75 or more this week, um, you actually will get um, the supplies to make this. I will be including um, the box and including these um, already scored paper for you. Now this, you know, you can, it's basically just, um, let's see, this is like a three and five sixteenth. Um, by 11 and you just score it at 2 and 9 16 and you just add however many you need right so this goes like this so you just add on as many as you want right and so for the first page just right here because i did a thumb thing um i would just end up with this glue this down and then use a um, circle punch and punch just half of it, okay? That's how this was done, okay? It just makes it easier for somebody to pull out this little mini album, okay? So yeah, so I hope you are just as excited about this 
new product line, especially now that the holiday season is coming up and we're always needing um, little party favors or little thank you, you know, containers um, for gifts. Um, you can definitely put a gift card in here, maybe. Um, you could put money, of course. Um, yeah, it just has a little bit more presence than just, say, a little bag, right? So, yeah. Which is the style you like? Do you like just a ribbon or do you like um, the Velcro? What do you think of the Velcro? I would imagine you can also use, um, what do you call it, magnet too, if you have. But I didn't have any magnets, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, so that is today's project. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, remember, when you purchase $75 or more this week, I'm going to throw in the supplies to make um, this little album. Um, I mean, you don't have to make the album, but you'll have the supplies for it. Um, you'll get this, and then you'll get this. Um, I think you can specify, I'm pretty sure, I, you know, you're welcome to specify what color you want in here. Um, but um, yeah, you'll get that. As a token of my appreciation, thank you for your order. And again, I have a class this Sunday. That's three to five. Um, there's still room. And I hope you'll join me. Um, all right. Uh, thank you so much. And be sure to um, like this and uh, subscribe um, if you're watching this on YouTube. Subscribe. That way, um, when I have my new video, you will be alerted of it. All right, and be sure to share this with your friends because, you know, sharing is caring. And I would appreciate you sharing um, this. If you think your friends would enjoy this, um, I would love to uh, get to know your friends as well. All right, thank you again, and I will see you next time. Bye.